I just want to say that Amazing Red is the biggest piece of shit <laughs> I've ever met in my life. He's selfish. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Red is somebody that you cannot sleep on. Because Red is a person, like I say, he's quiet, shook your hand, hides the wife and kids, but you piss him off, you better get your insurance check. Nah, man, he's just a down to earth dude, and like, I can joke with him and laugh with him, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I like, you know? And, uh, you know, let alone the stuff in the ring. And just hearing a lot of people online saying, hey, there's this new guy out there that was trained by Mikey Whipwreck. He's a little kid. They call him Red. I said, Red, I gotta see this guy. I remember watching Red, but I really didn't meet him. I was watching him at the Elks Lodge and a lot of the things that he was doing. And I was like, oh shit, this kid's for real. But he's so little. And I think the one thing about Red that uh, it st he stands out, he's touched the fans in the same way that Rey Mysterio has touched the fans. He sort of stood out with his athleticism and his ability and his high flying. Um. But uh, Red was like that natural. You know, piss me off, little motherfucker. Any little thing, picked up like that. Like that. Like that. It made it real easy to train. He's a, he was a natural. <laughs> uh, Red was a catalyst of the style that you see on the independents nowadays. I think a lot of people tried to copy and emulate Red and what he was doing because what he was doing at first nobody had ever seen on the independents. <laughs> As you'd be like five, six, five rounds. We tried to get every tape we could that was Amazing Red because we knew Amazing Red was doing a little fly shit around on the indie circuit. And then we ended up getting into the SATs and later on more wrestling, more wrestling, more wrestling. And then we find myself here today. So, okay. so <laughs> training one day and I saw like this little guy with like red hair and he was like doing flips and shit like that and I was like yo who's this guy in the ring doing all these flips and stuff man it's a wrestling gym you know but I mean he was doing it better than everybody else so you know he had talent and whatever so uh Red knows that we've actually gone above and beyond for each other to help help each other out in tough situations and stuff hey, like that <laughs> Who gets the other one? Is there another one? Yeah. I think he's the first guy to uh, really innovate that style, like the, like the stuff that like Jack Evans does. Yeah. Like, oh, of course. Uh, the stuff even Pac and you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think I think Red's the first guy to really do it. Yeah. I I think that uh, he's been very influential, not only to Russell's in general because of the innovative things he can do, but also because of his height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the fact that he's so small, short. Yeah, he's short. Right. Uh, and he's gotten so far in this yeah. business. I think it's given a lot of people, I don't know, uh, the courage yeah, to actually great. go for it. Right. Right. No, right now, who are you? That's your favorite wrestler. That's his. Keep recording him. Keep recording him, please. Yo. <laughs> now do a shooting star. Now do a do, now do a shooting star, nigga. <laughs> I'll sign a couple of guys. That won't play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the dugout now. <laughs> That's saying Spanky ran all the bases. Yeah, my
Are you not on day lift three?